Come here. Yeah, you, 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 you. Come here. Do you want to learn how to make apps, websites, and games without knowing anything? You don't even know what to do, what you're doing. No coding. All right? 100% guaranteed. All right? You, all your money back. It, but it's free. Don't worry. All right? All you got to do, all you got to do is use this. Ever since the widespread adoption of large language models like ChatGPT, one of, if not the biggest applications of its use has been programming. And as a software engineer, I feel like it's important to talk about the implications of that. And I can't even tell you how many shorts, reels, TikToks, tweets, X's, whatever. I've seen of people saying that, like, you don't need to study anymore. You can just take a picture of some drawings and get an AI to translate it from the picture into code and then ta-da, you're done. But there is, like while there is a time and place for that, um, we as software engineers really need to make sure that we're still knowledgeable of our craft. So let's talk about generative AI and programming. Oh, and to the people who are gonna be like, uh, you're just a hater. AI is the future. Get with the times, old man. <laughs> uh, relax. Okay. Um, I use Copilot every day in Xcode, and it's amazing. Um, and also, I work at a generative AI company. Me, it's not text generation, but it's still generative. Um, so I'm not a hater. I just think we should talk about it, and especially people who are starting out, they should be aware of its uses and when you should not rely on it um and my wife's boyfriend is an ai so all right so the problem i think is chat chat gpt github copilot and other like ai tools are incredibly useful that obviously greatly enhance productivity and efficiency and i've seen that in my own day-to-day -day, um like developing ios apps with uh xcode and it's been really it's been really good um but they can also create a reliance on the tools on the ai tools and that leave that can leave you with kind of this state of mindless coding where you don't really know what the code you have in front of you is doing you might know that it does like it's like a black box you know that you wrote display a picture on the screen and then the code you got from ChatGPT or Copilot does in fact display a picture on the screen, but you don't know how. You don't know the in intricacies of that. And that can leave you like getting to the end of your project or your um, studying course or whatever, and you haven't actually learned stuff. And again, I think this problem is most impactful or affects the people the most is um, people who are starting their software careers or are still studying um, and like mindlessly getting code or answers from an AI tool without understanding why or how it works or the details of what it actually does. It's basically the modern equivalent of copy pasting from Stack Overflow without knowing why the answer works. Yeah, you get your thing working, but like, do you know why? What if in the future sometime you have a similar problem that could be solved by a similar so solution that if you implemented yourself or at least had an understanding of, you would remember how to apply that now. Um, but of course, you could just try and get your answer again from an AI tool. So I think it's really important to ask yourself, um, are you coding to learn a skill and build a career or just as a means to an end to build something quickly or yeah, just to build something and you don't really care about how it works or maybe you don't necessarily need to maintain it for a long time and stuff like that. If it's just to build something, then you can probably get away with not understanding the underlying code. But even then, you'll need to have a certain level of understanding about how to build, how to build something cohesive. We're still some time away from being able to prompt, engineer, complex, like, whole apps websites and games yeah you can get code from these tools and you can even get files but there's a lot more that goes into designing an application or a system than just individual files it's about how they work together it's about systems architecture maintainability and a lot more stuff 
so yeah if you're you really it's it's important to ask yourself this um but if you're trying to have a career in software engineering or learn it as a skill then obviously it's important to know what the code does why it's written the specific way it is um because if you know the way why it's written that way you can then infer things like how it could be improved possibly how it can be optimized um any bugs if you don't know what the code does if you're just copy pasting from chat gpt or something copilot whatever it doesn't know what it's telling you is 100 percent correct so if you can't identify bugs yourself then you can run into problems and bugs are these things that aren't always inherently like in your face they're not explicit there can be runtime crashes there can be memory crashes things like that so yeah so if you're just building something then i suppose this video isn't really for you but by all means keep watching um so what is an aspiring dev to do um actually i think it's pretty simple just never use ai again thanks for watching Nah, I'm kidding. In all seriousness, it's going to be pretty much impossible to not use it in a professional setting because it's just so good for productivity and um, it can genuinely be really helpful uh, when you can't find the answer or you need kind of a rubber duck. It can work as that as well. Um, so for people who are starting out, I would encourage them to stay away from using um autocomplete tools like copilot um in your early stages of your learning process and especially not using like generative interface builders like uh Vercel's v0 i think it's called um, because like it does give you a head start but it's also important to have a good understanding of the fundamentals of your chosen like framework like react angular or ios android stuff like that um, but I think you can still use tools like ChatGPT in the early stages of learning because it can really be like you have someone dedicated to help you and it can explain things in a really, you know, personal way. You can ask for more explanation if it's uh, a bit con uh, convoluted for you. Um, yeah, but as, like I said, as long as you're not just copy-pasting from ChatGPT into your IDE and then shipping it, because, yeah, it's important to understand what the code is, why the code is, and what it does. Um, so, in my opinion, the best way to learn things in programming, whether it's like a new language, a new framework, or even a new platform, is to start building projects with it. And when you're doing that, you'll pick up things as you go. And most of the time, there'll be like real world scenarios, um, like as you build your application, you run into problems you would run into building an application instead of just following a tutorial or a course where you're in a kind of a guided workflow and you're not gonna run into those problems. Um, so yeah, just remember, theory will only take you so far. All right, well, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I look forward to your feedback in the comments and a healthy discussion about how AI is impacting our, like, passion or how it will impact it. Because I already think about things like, what about when you can just type a prompt, like a social media app that lets people, I don't know, find cats, find other people that like cats or something, and then it can just spit an app out for you. Is that like, that's probably what we're going towards. But at that point, like, it's going to be interesting. Will you still need to know how to code? I suppose you would to maintain it and to fix bugs and stuff and things like that. But yeah, it'll be interesting. I'm looking forward to discussion about it and see how you guys are using um, AI in your work. And um, yeah, let me know if you've seen any like negative impacts for like people who are starting like junior devs. Are they relying too heavily on like ChatGPT or Copilot? And yeah, please join my Discord. Um, I'm trying to build a coding community where we can have discussions about these kind of things and share resources with each other. Thanks for watching.